Welcome back people, we got some more survive on a raft, this is part 6 and I shot the flare gun and this boat has actually stopped, wow. Okay, so the flare gun definitely works, I shot the flare gun in the air when I saw a plane. Can I? Oh, okay, oh look at that, I get shells for exchange of my, my gear. So I shot the flare gun up in the air and a plane dropped us a loot crate. I saw a boat coming by and I shot the flare gun again and this boat has actually stopped. So the flare gun is actually pretty good. Okay, they don't give me much for that cup. So I can actually exchange stuff for shells, which I'm guessing... I don't know what I'm going to do with the shells, but we'll figure that one out. <coughs> there you go. We finally got some shells. 1,084 shells. Um, wow, 5,000 shells for that. Okay, so I guess... The shells we can buy stuff for. Okay, brought a battery, a radio for 300. Okay, battery. So I can buy some ammo. Yeah, I'm kind of noob. I know. Don't worry, it's all good. <laughs> I'm learning at this stage. Um, I've never had this boat turn up here before. So I can basically sell him my loot for shells. And then from shells, I can then buy stuff, an umbrella. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But, yeah, I can then exchange the shells for stuff that he has on the boat. Can I buy anything in there? Nope. Anytime I do live streams, I always use Facebook. Anytime I use... Oh, my gosh. Get it right. Slow down. Okay, let's try that again. Anytime I do live streams, I always use face cam and mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just randomly hit record. They're quicker for me to make videos like this. It doesn't actually give me that much for the uh, for the seaweed. Okay, I can actually sell, sell him his own loot back to him. Not that I really want to do that, but I can. <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah. For the live streams, face cam and mic, when I make videos like this, it's a lot quicker for me to hit record. And um, these videos turn out to be the best videos because I'm just randomly hitting record. For me to set up the face cam every time is quite time consuming. Don't worry, I'm still going to be live streaming the games that we normally do. I just wanted to put some different type of content on the channel. And I thought Survive on a Raft looks like a really good game. I've seen it quite a few times in the store. And I kept, kept thinking about buying it but just never actually got round to it. And I decided to now. So this is Survive on a Raft Part 6. We've obviously progressed through the game from part one, of course. And um, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, to, if I'm completely honest. I'm just doing things and trying things, and it's working for me. I'm just doing things for luck. What I do with the radio and battery and that kind of stuff, I don't really know. So if you've ever played this game before... There you go, I can buy a battery. If you've ever played this game before, um, leave comments below in the comments section. Any type of tricks tips or anything like that i will definitely appreciate it you can play this game as creative mode so that way you can just basically build anything at first um but i'm doing it as a standard play i didn't want to i wanted to play the game from the very beginning and work hard just like everybody else does but you can play it play it as creative which means that obviously everything's unlocked for you to build anything you want straight away Maybe I might do that at some point, possibly, I don't really know, but <clears throat> for now, I do actually quite enjoy playing the game like just just single player, just random from the beginning and leveling up and seeing seeing what happens and me learning that the game that way. So I can collect my stuff that I've gathered with a hook, come up to this storage box here and wow, it actually gives me quite a bit, 150 shells for that. Yeah, it actually gives me quite a bit. So, I guess the loot that I'm getting, if I don't really need it, I could always sell it to this guy and maybe even get even more materials, sell it to this guy and buy other things that I need. I don't know how I'm going to use the radio or the battery or or whatever else. That stuff I'm going to have to going to have to figure that out and learn that as as time goes on, but I will definitely do that. I probably do that for um, maybe part 7 or part 8 or something like that. I'm not quite sure um, what I'm going to be doing with that. But I definitely single pi single pistol. Okay. I'm going to buy that just as a backup. And I'm definitely going to get the flashlight as well. Um, don't really think I really need it. Let's get some more ammo as well. I don't really think I need the flashlight because I am able to see. And I normally sleep through the night anyway. But... I'm going to keep it just in case I need it for if I'm going somewhere. If I manage to get in a kayak and go somewhere. I don't know. I'm just going to hold on to it just in case. But yeah, it's good to have a spare a spare gun. 
uh, flare gun and obviously the the flashlight. I'm gonna. Uh, um, I guess I could sell him that. Sell him that. So the the cloth and the the other stuff. I don't really need that. The nails and that kind of thing. Wooden planks are always easy for me to get. So I could sell him a ton of this stuff and buy other things off him. I don't know every time. Oh my gosh! I wasn't meant to do that. I don't know if every time. Um, I shoot this as he goes by, whether he brings me different loot every time, or whether it's the same loot. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I'm going to figure that one out and find out whether it's the same loot every single time, or whether he offers me something different. I really don't know. Only time will tell. Okay, um, i got a shark attacking... Yeah, I see a boat over there in the distance. Let me shoot it that way. Because I know with the plane... It drops loot. If I see one of those raft things that that guy stopped, if I shoot, I know that he stops. If I see one of those boats and I shoot, I'm guessing that's going to drop me loot as well. Um, I can't really see it pulling up beside my raft, but you never know. It's either going to come beside my raft or it's going to drop loot, one or the other. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I might as well sell him all of this stuff because all of this I can regain back, whereas if the stuff that he's got on the boat... It's stuff that I've never seen before. I don't know if that boat's going to stop or drop me loot. I really don't know what that's going to do. But I might as well sell him all the stuff that I've got because it's easy for me to, to get it back again. For me to get shells, it looks like the only way I can get shells is from this guy. Because I haven't got shells from anywhere else other than, obviously, now him. So, <clears throat> I am going to need to keep selling things to him to get shells to buy other stuff of him. So there's another 1,000 shells. That's not bad. 1,800. Um, so what, does he just stay there? Is he going to disappear? Like, how does it work? Is there a set time that he stays there for? Um, okay, that boat just used its horn. Um, okay, let me put the ammo in there. Reload that. Oh, look! So if the horn goes off, it must drop a loot crate, because there's a loot crate from that boat. Okay, perfect. Do I get any way bills from that? I don't think I did. I don't know how long that other boat stays there for, that, that boat that's beside me. I have no idea how long that's going to stay there for, but um, it's still there. I don't know, do I have to tell him to go? Do I have to do something for him to leave? Or does he just stay for for a certain amount of time? I'm not sure how, how this works. Um, but I can... Okay, so I've got some different seeds that I picked up. Oh, I've got some meat. Um, some other fish. Some water. Um, I can sell him that. <laughs> not that that was worth very much, but... Yeah, okay, so I didn't get any way bills from that boat, which that's unfortunate, because I definitely want to try and get some more, so that way I can use that kayak again and see if I end up going to the same place or somewhere different. But as soon as I get another way bill, I will be making another video of that. These videos that I've been doing on Surviving a Raft, I started off doing them for around about 20 to 30 odd minutes-ish, and the last... Few the last one and this one I've done for just under 10 minutes. Sometimes I'm going to do them between 10 minutes long and then sometimes like 20, 10, 20, even 30 minutes long. Just random because um, sometimes I like to try and squeeze everything or as much as I can into one video. But this, this, uh, this part six has definitely done very, very well. Um, figured out a lot of new things that I haven't found out before, which obviously is always a good thing. Knowing about the plane shooting the flare gun, it drops loot. That boat drops loot. That boat there, if I shoot the flare gun, that also stops and we can exchange things with him. So through this part six, I've definitely figured out a lot more. So make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss out for part seven. And we'll find out what's going to happen in part seven. Don't forget to drop a like as well. Also lets us know that you are still enjoying Survive on a Raft. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.